Say zero review, guys. Get right to it. Action. What's going on, Animal City Balloon Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. Ryan Succeed. I'm Angela Becca And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And if you have not already, like, share, subscribe, hit that subscribe notification, get notified for our movie reviews or in other cases, TV reviews that we got going on weekly, guys. We got a Telasso review coming out weekly and everything else. But let's get right to it. Without further ado, Angela, what are we reviewing today? What are we talking about? Pra, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's Sizu. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Sizu tells of a story when an ex-soldier who discovers gold in the Lapland wilderness tries to take the lot into the city. Nazi soldiers led by a brutal SS officer battle him. And this is a, this is the same studio that brought us John Wick. And we saw people actually had a chance. So before, let's put context into the story real quick. So people actually had a chance because we did it. Because on the press screens, they really don't show um, theaters. They don't show commer- like previews. So before people actually got to see this for John Wick Chapter 4. Whenever people got to watch John Wick Chapter 4, they got to see this trailer for the very first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was like the same studios that brought you John Wick. You know, the great studios right, and everything. Okay, so okay. yeah, so it was right. great marketing move. I've noticed this whole week, though, this whole week, I've been seeing ads on a lot of ads on it on YouTube. And I am ecstatic because it got me more intrigued. And I was like, oh, snap, it comes out this week because it's really like a film to where it's it's not randomly selected. But in a way, it doesn't really feel like it's coming out already. Right. It, for me, it doesn't. Uh, but with all the marketing that they're doing here. I loved I loved the marketing and the marketing points on here. They really are trying to push for this movie, guys. And you know, even so, even further more into it, they caught their marketing style is like boom, badass, or like boom, boom, boom. It's like throwing it at you, and I love that. It was really gets you entertained. It really gets you going. And yeah, we're not gonna change the spoilers right now, guys. So we're no spoilers at all in this movie, so don't worry about that whatsoever. But the plot of this story is pretty much with the what IMDb says. It's a very simple story, similar to what John Wick, uh, the first one, what did. Very similar in certain ways, but Angela, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe this one's more gory, though. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, just because of the weapons during that time, because yes. it's set in World War II time. Yeah. So you got like bombs, yeah. tanks. And this is all middle that. of a not necessarily middle of a battlefield, but I guess middle of a, of a battlefield of an active battlefield. It's not happening like current. Like they they don't go to like battle scenes to where like it's major battle scenes like you know that happened in the history. But it does make it puts you in this atmosphere. And they really do a good job of it, man. Mm-hmm. They really do a good job of sinking you into this world, sinking you into this World War II era. It's, I believe it's 19, uh, 1945 year. And it definitely feels like it in so many different ways. It's crazy. You know, that's not, there's not that many actors in this movie. Or even like a big set. It's Yeah. Most of it literally takes place in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Just in the countryside. Of Germany. That, it's supposed to take place in yeah, Germany. Germany. Yeah, Germany. So, I mean, for something mm-hmm. that doesn't have a lot of big cast or yeah. big set mm-hmm. i thought it was done very well like yeah, it has yeah. a, a beginning middle and a very simple story it, yes. it, it can't be any simpler than that yeah. you know <laughs> i love it when movies do this because i already know what to get out of this from watching the trailer i know i'm not gonna get an oscar worthy performance i know i'm not gonna get like a critique take but when a movie knows exactly what it is, if it's going to be a violent ass, violent movie, <laughs> it's going to be a violent movie. If it's going to be an action-packed violent movie, it's going to be an action-packed violent movie. Fun fact, this was actually filmed in Finland, which is the Lampland in Finland, mm. guys. So, by the way, that is really good. Really, I love that because a lot of these scenes were like, were, you know, a lot of these scenes were just like, you know, it's one, it's they keep going to this country world and we're like, where is this place at? And... Come to find out, it is the actual homeland of what the film sets place in in Finland. That, I gotta so, yeah. appreciate that more. Yeah, yeah, you know what? This director is actually um, from overseas as well, um, uh, which his name was uh, uh, Jamar. Jamari. Yeah, Jamari. I'll probably butch- apologize on that. I'm probably butchering that wrong. But Jamari directed this film, and dude, this direction. That's the one thing I really did admire in this movie, guys, is that the direction of this film is directed so well. It t- it takes you from beginning, middle, and end. It keeps you going. keeps you entertained. It doesn't – there's not too, too much dialogue in this movie. No. But <laughs> there's not really – not really that much. 
but it's enough dialogue to where like you know where it's at you know where the story's going and i love that a lot i love it when movies do this i love it when movies don't even have to say anything in order for you to understand where it's going because that's the direction that's the director leading the story leading the charge leading this whole um uh this whole adventure for this guy leading the whole uh what do you call it? the the trials that he had to go through like the physical trials the the mental trials of just going through this and you know it just we've seen it from the trailers he hangs out with a dog here and we were kind of speculating a little bit on certain situations that might occur better and, not be like john mc chapter yeah, one yeah <laughs> that, yeah it, and it, yeah it definitely it definitely sh- it shocked me where it was leading up to because i didn't expect it i expected it to be go a different route and it was definitely surprising this film is not predictable whatsoever i think this is the most one of the few unpredictable movies i've seen that's like what's gonna happen what's next although i gotta say yeah. though i gotta say the way they ended was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> you either really you either like it or you don't. <laughs> yeah, you know, this yeah, there's a lot of these scenes to where like I'm at, was I at times like but again uh, Keanu though was really good at it. But just uh, was I at times at this movie and same thing with Keanu Reeves though. There were certain films, certain films where John Wake, I was just like, What? That can't what? 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 Um, but there's certain scenes in this movie but it doesn't really take me away from the film it's just very um uh, not an unbelievable moments right but like a little unrealistic yes unrealistic on certain uh, certain aspects certain situations where this uh, where this actor goes and everything and this actor uh that doesn't bother me because that's like all four of the john Wick movies every single <laughs> film it's like what i know and it's just a movie really? I, I get it it's I get movie it. magic yeah, yeah it but is. You, you like you like the character so much you're like you know what fine yeah oh, um I, I did. and same thing with this character you kind of root for him in a way even yeah. though he really there's like you say there's no dialogue really that this is really just a heavy focused on the action sequences Mm. and everything you still like his character like you immediately like want him to succeed in whatever he wants to do yeah and you know you you hope you root for him you hope he survives (laughs) as he takes on these nazis that he encounters yeah um so i gotta say that that's a really good a great way to tell that that story Mm -hmm. is is there the writing's there because for something that doesn't have a lot of like background on this mm. person or you, you really don't know too much who this person is. You, you figure out who he is, but you yeah. don't have a lot of like, De- yeah, detailed into his life mm-hmm. and you still want him to you, yeah. live essentially. And you root for him. That's really good yeah. storytelling to be Man, honest. My God, the gory scenes are so damn good. Oh my yes. God. The gore in this movie is so good. There's so many different bombing moments literally bombing moments no pun intended that are just really great oh man they are so damn good guys so be sure to check this out this needs to be seen in a theater definitely because you're definitely gonna feel those bomb moments you're gonna feel those action sequences tanks this the movie guns. yeah there's a lot of tanks in this movie there's a lot of scenes to where it really carries you out so much in this movie guys and i think this is just a guy film that everyone's gonna enjoy i feel like this is definitely a guy movie that i feel like every, you know uh, movie goers are really gonna enjoy they're gonna go see like huh a movie from the same studio that brought you john wick this looks bloody good i feel and like there is a different i wouldn't say this is like a guy movie but i would say there is a different type like if you like gore yeah. and action and you know the time period yeah definitely check it out because it hits all those points so yeah. i think if you this are a weird. fan of any of those genres it's kind of like a very nice put together baby of this film like yeah. i just i just feel like it was done so well yeah. at least it surprised me because I, I had not seen any marketing for this i never mm-hmm. saw a trailer i didn't really know what to expect to be honest and mm-hmm. i gotta say it was pleasantly surprising i gotta say yeah you know i didn't uh, this movie is really really good guys and very entertaining uh this is definitely not a more so more uh more definitely better than a popcorn cut type of movie like the meg but it, you know, it has so many different sequences to where it carries you. It's entertaining. It gets you going, and it's just like, oh my god, because you're just like, what's gonna happen now? Is he gonna make it? Is can he make it? And in the same way, I felt the same way, just like I felt with John Wick. Obviously, not the not the sequels after that, but the first John Wick, because those sequels, you know, you start caring about the character even more so. But for, furthermore, into this, you know, during this time period and everything, because I'm a huge World War II. Uh, movie goer and i just i love you know i love all that movies i love watching documentaries on the history and stuff so the action slash war era and it definitely it it this movie definitely does 
it gets good and, and gritty and it gets very very um uh believable on on bombing moments because there's a lot of moments to where it really cat it really cat captivates certain things and i like that because it's it's almost to a sense to where because this is this feels like a low budget movie but yet they were still able to captivate all those sequences and all the stuff that kind of like brings it into life that movie but yeah into that era uh, movie goes be sure to check this out at a theater near you if you have not already and if you have put up comments down below what did you think of the film guys what you think on the comments down below but this actor is actually named again i'm probably butchering the names i do apologize I do apologize, but I'm butchering the names probably. But uh, Jorma, you know, this guy, this guy is, he doesn't even have to say a damn word. And he, he's his having, face. yeah, his face, his eyes. There's, you know, there's, there's only a few people that are able to do that, right? There's only a few people that could do that a lot where they bring a presence where they don't have to say much or even maybe that's just acting. a sentence. That's, that, that's, that's real that's, acting if you yeah. don't say anything yeah and you can still portray a whole range of emotions you know yeah it's really cool i, I like it um yeah. i think he did a very good job oh, as did. well as the other cast again it's not a very big yeah, cast it's not a big with. cast of whatsoever that's why i like that's why i like i liked it even more because i know it didn't take a big budget of a film to really it wasn't trying to do like oh check this out let's blow this up now let's blow this like i'm almost like a michael bay air thing but I liked how it 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 just it knew where it's at. It doesn't reach outreach those boundaries. It knows where it captures those cinema moments, and I like that a lot. I really do. But yeah, rating one out of ten, Tempe, the highest. We did deserve this movie, guys, because we both agreed this was a really good film. Uh, rating one out of ten, Tempe, the highest. Angela, when you give this rating, I would give it a solid seven and a half for me. Damn, I think nice. it was a really good solid nice. film. Um, yeah. Like it, it, it comes out to about an hour and a half, so not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Um, of a runtime, yeah. I think it was perfect for that. I don't know. I can't think of anything I would add to it. Like I think it no. just explained yeah. the characters perfectly. That's, we didn't yeah. need a whole big backstory background to mm. understand this. It went straight into this. Exactly. We as nice could follow along easily. Yep. Story had a very nice. Uh, beginning middle end yeah and i think the actors did great and i i gotta say it was a pretty good film to be honest yeah you know i have to completely agree with you there i'm gonna give this a 7.8 guys 7 point a little bit above uh, a little bit above you angela and here's the here's the reason why it's because there's so many moments in this movie to where you really just want him to live there's certain moments in here where you want certain animals to live because there's animals in the trailer and you know you really you really uh, you fall for this character. You it grows on you. There's certain moments in here, to where it's it's so damn good to know. And and again, we going back to where I love it when a movie is. And we talked about this off camera too. This just proves it, and I love it too. When 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 movies can prove that it doesn't take. Granted, some movies do. I'm not saying all movies. Let's be honest, because I love The Godfather. The Godfather's freaking runtime is very long. <laughs> it's a very long runtime, but that's because or Lord there's of the Rings. so much story. Exactly, <laughs> the extended cuts over four hours. Oh my god! Each, mo each yeah, movie. Each movie. Each movie. Yes, and granted, granted, those movies are portrayed in a way because they want to give so much character development between because there's so much damn characters in this one. There's not really that much characters, at least main characters here. With Lord of the Rings, Godfather, they try to make everyone a main character. And I get it because there's so much story, so much character development here. But I love it when movies prove me on certain situations because this proves it. Oh, right. What are you talking about? Movies are going to be over two hours. All Marvel movies are going to be over two hours. No, they don't. Great movies and good movies do not need to be over two hours long. This movie was an hour and 31 minutes, and this was a really good film. I'll say that. And this proves it so many times. And granted, though, granted, the John Wick movie, you know, the first John Wick movie, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it wasn't that long either. The John Wick movie was only 10 minutes longer, 10 minutes longer than, than this film. And then... The next John Wick was a little bit more because we I remember we did the reviews. They were a little bit more and a little bit more. They got a little and bit the more last longer. One's obviously yeah, the and longest. the last one was the longest. So all I'm saying is that it makes sense. And when you captivate the re regenerate the story in a way or refresh the story, I get it. You want to exceed that, that's fine. But I mean, we do recommend this movie, guys. This film, I mean, can you see Angela now knowing the ending of this movie and everything? Uh, it kind of opens, it kind of leaves an open ending. Um, and we're not going to talk about it because we, we don't want to mention anything like that. But, you know, I can see a sequel out of here. 
I could, but the question is, should they? Because as much as, yeah. and I hate car- comparing this because it's two different films. Totally but two different John, movies, yes. John Wick, the same. Yeah. You had a, a, a fan base that really yeah. wanted the second, third, fourth movie, and they added the story. They expanded yeah. this, this universe, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like they could potentially do the same yeah. because it, it is still within World War II era, right? Yeah. The war is still going on. Yeah. So with the way the character is set up, mm-hmm. you know a little bit about him, but not a lot. So yeah. that's something that could develop in well, future films. Yeah. Now, I always just kind of, I'm a little hesitant with that just because mm-hmm. in most of the time, sequels aren't re- aren't executed the way they should be. Yeah, true. It's most of the time. Most, sometimes. Sometimes. The Godfather proves it wrong, but yes, yeah, some but, people see that. But that's yeah, the exception. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so I would just be worried that any future films in this same sequels yeah. to this would maybe lose the magic of the first one so that i mean john my... wick but john wick proves it it doesn't like in a way because i i mean i we you know we, we did our reviews i mean of the them. second and third ones were okay the third one was probably my least favorite grant i know everyone takes that on me i'm sorry unpopular opinion the third one i think is my least favorite uh and then oh, second, the second and then, yeah my least favorite. and then oh wow but again, they didn't hold up to the first one. The, the only one that did was the the fourth of course, one, the last yeah. one, and it was yeah. I Compared think to the John Wick, yeah, I get it. You know, and, but you know, I kind of feel like that it it does leave it to where I. It depends how much money this is going to make because John Wick did not expect to make that much money, and it did it. It almost made triple its budget, and when it does, the movie, movie does that. Sony and will just Lionsgate. be like, uh, or Lionsgate. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, Lionsgate will will officially be like, you know what? We got another John Wick series on our heads because that's essentially what they're marketing it as because they marketed it in the when we saw the trailer for this. It's like from the studio that brought you John Wick. It's marketing like that. And I get Which it. You know, smart, yeah, because I do believe that if you are a fan, it's the of same John audience. Wick, it's the same it's audience. It's the same audience. You yeah. are going to enjoy this crime. Film. It's the same th- thriller action. action war, this one slash war in the middle gory. of war. But Graphic. granted, this does end at the end. This and this is the, this actually takes place in the year of the last of the war so you never know anything can happen but all right guys that is enough with us uh if you have not already like share, subscribe to us on our animal city movie talk page as always i'm your host ryan d ryan 680 i'm angela that cat lady Ange. and this is the animal city movie talk guys thank you so much for making us a part of your day catch you later san antonio peace mm-hmm.